How's it going guys? It's Mr. Lone Wolf and I uh, just wanted to show you some tips that I've learned along the way that are pretty handy when you play in this game, get you out of a lot of uh, sticky situations and stuff. So first things first, uh, if you've got the crane, particularly the yellow crane and you've got a four cargo trailer, obviously the yellow crane only reaches about two cargo spaces back. And I assume some people would end up disconnecting the trailer, reversing alongside it and trying to pack the back ones. So as you can see here, I have to like unpack and then pack, but there's the first two and that's about as far as the yellow crane can reach. What you want to do though, just pick your third cargo up, whatever it is. This will work as well if it's uh, double sized things like metal planks and stuff. But um, basically, just bring the cargo, drop it on top of the first or second one, it doesn't really matter. And then again, you're going to have to go to like unpack and then pack, but unpack and then pack and you see the third box just jumps into place which makes things a lot bloody easier and just to show you it's not a fluke or anything it works all the time this is obviously the fourth cargo which I'm definitely not reaching I'm trying to get that's as far as the crane will extend so like I say you can get the first two spots I'm just gonna pack the crane away quickly again I have to click unpack so it'll give me the option to pack but there they are all four all now I haven't had to disconnect the trailer or mess around doing any of that which definitely saves a bit of time and hassle so the next tip is to do with your auto gearbox you can see now I'm in third coming up this hill and normally what it does is die of like revs and then drop itself into first but it stalls itself if you tap L1 when you're going up or down a hill like this is without tapping it and as you'll see it basically just stops now and then puts itself into first but as you're driving along, whether you want to go up or down gears, if you tap L1, if you look in the bottom corner of the gearbox, I tap L1 now, it jumps to third, tap it again, fourth, tap it again. Oh, it's not quite wanting to go to fifth yet. Obviously, you have to let it like it's only got a certain range it's going to jump into. But as you can see in the bottom corner, each time the middle bit keeps flashing green a second, that's me tapping L1. And even though I'm in auto, I'm making it jump up. And then when I come to this mud, I tap it and it drops from 5th to 4th. And then I do it again and it goes from 4th to 3rd. Whereas normally, if you were in like 5th, coming up to that soil, it would have been too much for 5th. And then it would have just dropped itself to 1st. Again, coming up this hill, I'm doing the same thing. It doesn't really... When you haven't got cargo and stuff, it's not as important. But when I'm stopped, you can see I press it. I go from 1st to 3rd, press it again, 4th press it again fifth I'm already in fifth gear like 20 foot after I've set off and uh, as I come up to here I slow down pretty uh, quite a lot so as I tap it it basically goes to first but then as I'm going through the water I tap it and it goes to third tap it again it goes to fourth so yeah just you can tap L1 and make the auto box change gears without having to drop down to first every time so anyway the next tip is uh, basically winching from the back of your truck so obviously let's just imagine that this truck is powerful enough to get up this hill but I've winched to that tree I obviously I can't winch any further but if I attach the winch to the back of my truck and then to that tree it's basically pulling my back end up and then with along with the power and front wheel drive I can pull the front up as well you can see the winch kind of goes from the tree to the middle of the back of my truck and at the minute it's pulling me so hard I'm basically riding up this tree so now my front wheels are off the floor so that's just one thing if you're struggling to get up a hill and you haven't really got anything to winch to the front you can winch to the back and pull yourself that way and it works with the trailer as well I just left this one as a quick one obviously you can use winch and stuff to twist your truck round sideways if you turn in circles not tight enough so next tip Imagine you're damaged, you're out of fuel nearly, and you're miles away from a fuel station or your garage. Obviously, you can click recover. You can see where I am at the minute. The nearest fuel station's here. In this particular example, I have got enough fuel to get there. But let's just imagine I've got 20 litres or whatever. The garage is right over here. As I said, I could recover, but then that means I'm all the way over there, and I might want to be back over here, and I can't be arsed driving all the way back. But what I have got near me is a trailer store. And as long as you've got a trailer store near you, you've basically got a refuelling point and a repair point. So here I am driving into the uh, trailer store. You need to have um, £7,500 on you to do this. You can actually do it a little bit cheaper, I'll show you. The main trailer you want is that one, which is seven and a half grand. You can use this service trailer if you only want to repair. 
and you can also use the cheapest uh, like that fueling trailer for six grand but preferably you want to get this yellow one and then you can see now typical it glitches I apologize but I've just repaired myself now I'm filling my fuel up and then I go back into the trailer store I sell the trailer back to them seven and a half grand haven't lost a penny and if you look in the bottom left hand corner my uh, engine and suspension is now fixed and my fuel is full so I can crack on I don't need to go back to the garage I don't need to find a fuel station so uh, so I'm trying to rush through you I don't want to make the video too long next tip imagine you've uh, tipped over obviously I tipped myself over here so I'm not quite tipped enough that it's permanently stalled me but I haven't got anything to winch to on the other side of the road and if I winch to those trees all that's going to do is just pull me further into the forest sideways but luckily I've got a crane on me so if I because I was facing that way the crane pops out to the right and that tipped me up and uh, yeah so obviously I didn't have to come and rescue myself or recover I'll turn around now and do it the other way this ended up being quite a good example that leads into another thing but I tip myself over again just to show you and this time I'm actually not quite enough that I can start my engine again as you can see here it just keeps saying engine stalled so now I can't even get the crane out or anything but go to restore crane and there I just tapped it a few times and jiggled the truck around a bit luckily it was just enough that it got me off the horizontal so I can start my engine but this time when I get the crane out the weight of the arm has kind of made me go 90 degrees again so the engine stalls so restore the crane I can start the engine again but again every time I get the crane out so the crane isn't going to help me in this situation or at least not being out but every time I click restore crane I could jiggle the truck just a little bit and what I'd like to do is winch that telegraph pole but I can only see that little bush so again click uh, restore crane you can see that's just sliding me down this embankment only by like you know talking centimeters even in the game but it ends up being like there I'm just getting the nose of my truck around the tiniest little bit and then this time when I go to winch I can just reach that uh, telegraph pole which is just enough to flip me over and again I got myself out of trouble I didn't need to recover or I didn't need to bring another lorry to come and rescue me so next one though imagine you do tip over and uh, you end up bringing your own rescue truck so I've crashed the Navistar I've turned up in the GMC and what you normally do is uh, attach the winch preferably you want to try and attach it to like the top of the truck for best uh, like the better leverage but uh, basically at the minute I'm facing forward so when I try and tow this I'm pulling off in first gear and as you can see first gear just hasn't quite got what it takes and uh, my wheels are spinning so I basically haven't got enough power and at this point obviously unless I change my tyres or something it looks not good however turn round and for whatever reason reverse gear is just geared better it seems to be more torquey it pulls better it doesn't wheel spin as easily so I've turned the truck round I can now winch to the truck I'm just going to go forward a bit so I can winch to the top of the truck but as you can see same truck same tyres same engine same everything and just by turning the truck round so I can now go in reverse I can now tip the truck up I'm not struggling now by the way I just want to show you another example so I didn't want to waste time just flipping the truck back then I'll just have to go and tip it over again but I can easily pull that now even though I couldn't when I was facing forward so sometimes winching stuff in reverse will get you out of a sticky situation if that didn't work though last resort just go and wedge your truck behind a tree, telegraph pole, anything that's going to stay put really. And then this time when I winch, obviously I don't even need to reach the top of the truck. My truck isn't going anywhere because it can't. So the Navistar has no choice but to get winched and flipped. So yeah, wedging yourself behind a, a telegraph pole or tree definitely helps out a lot. And uh, I think I'll show you, this is basically like I'm pulling off in low three I'll call it high low but you see how quick that was this is auto reverse auto reverse and reverse at the same speed but when you put it specifically in reverse you can engage diff lock on whatever vehicles you've got that has diff lock uh, again that's pulling forward with low three but that's normal low and it's a bit like pulling off in first hasn't quite got enough 
oomph to it whereas reverse has just got that perfect blend of torque and everything and then these are just a couple of uh, little examples of like this was actually all those ones I've just shown you were like me staging it whereas this was actually just part and parcel of my gameplay so I flipped the ANK38 whatever it's called brought the CK there's no way this CK would be dragging this thing along the floor sideways but I wedged it behind a tree and that got me like I was able to pull it away from that building as you can see here I'm trying to pull away in forward it's just not quite having it but I turn round and for whatever reason in reverse it's just the right gear in the right torquiness and it pulls it over unluckily I got it caught on the edge of that building so I just quickly nip back behind a tree I was nearly slipping out from the tree so right now I'm kind of flooring it forward and turning into the tree but I dragged it out a little bit more got back into reverse because I dragged it over a bit more it's up a little bit more of a hill and now even in reverse I can't quite pull it over and what I could do if this didn't work I would have wedged it behind a tree but just before I did I instead of auto reverse I specifically put it in reverse engage a diff lock and you'll see that was just enough to get this thing flipped over because I, at the minute on this map I'm on Drummond Island and there's no garage on this map so if I had to recover that ANK I'd have to go back to a different map again this is another example I uh, crashed my truck crossing like some rock bridge jiggled the uh, crane though and that was just enough to allow me to start the engine but again as soon as I get the boom arm thing out the weight of it just pulled me back over to 90 degrees so uh, that wasn't going to work. Jiggled the crane again though. Again, just enough. Let's me start it up. You can see here I've crashed my trailers, fallen off and everything. I uh, I winched the trailer. Obviously, you got to kind of feel out each situation and see what you can do. But I was pretty much guaranteed recovery at the minute because I couldn't start my truck. Whereas jiggling the crane, I was able to start the truck, winch to my trailer that tipped me over and then this crane now I can get the boom arm out I'm basically pushing down in the ground while I'm trying to extend the crane and obviously as you can see that's tipping me over even more and uh, I'll cut ahead a little bit like now I'm trying to rev forward eventually I got myself to this position where I'm still using the crane arm to like push me round that was just enough to drive out of here and uh, yeah then I was able to free my trailer as well which as you can see here um, I, did, I really did get out with the trailer which was a pretty un-get out of the ball situation so anyway that's my tips for today I hope that helps thanks for watching and I'll be back soon just one quick thing the horn on this is crap it's like a car horn that's how crap it sounds even this like, it's not bad that is a car so I can forgive that one but then this the Pacific Pig or P16 that's the fucking horn